YouTube, what is going on? It's your boy Glitch Road 23 here. Hey man, y'all know what it is. We got the man, the legend, the go. Machiavelli in this Illuminati. Feel me. We got Tupac, man. We got everything they owe from the Until the End of Time album. I'm not gonna lie. This is the last Until the End of Time reaction we're doing, man. I gotta react to this out. I gotta listen to this album my own time, man. I usually don't cut it off with a lot of artists, but uh, I got I got to cut it off for Pop man because we've been doing too many reactions to this album since you know beginning the two Pop reactions, and I still have not heard this album as a whole because I keep getting more and more suggestions, you know. So this is it, man. Everything they owe. Let's see. We got to see what this is about, man. But if you guys are excited and want to see more Tupac reactions in the future, y'all know what to do. Hit that like button, subscribe, comment, share what you guys want to see next. Share with more people if you guys enjoyed. Um, if you guys want to join my Discord, the Glitcher Gang, right now we're covering one suggestion that was uh, from my Discord every single day during this month, man. If you want to join, link's down below in the description. Other than that, man, let me make sure we all good. And we, get right, we just get right into it, man. Get it right into it. Everything they know. If you could go back, actually talk to the motherfuckers that put us in. I mean, the first motherfuckers that came in the slave ship. Excuse me. No. We back for everything you owe, no longer oppressed. Cause now we over for those that placed us in this rotten mess. But let's agree on strategy and pick our enemies. Ryan, who stands accused of the abuse, my own kind of rock. Not disregarding what you thinking, but you must abandon the ship Cause once I rip your whole shit is sinking Supreme ideology, you claim the whole Claiming that we all drug dealers with empty souls that I really don't like that production <laughs> That production is so ugly And I think Tupac really tried To change his flow on this one It seems a little more like you know, rapid fire, not like his as laid back or as slow of a flow as he's used to rapping on it. It reminds me kind of some of the flow patterns that he does on the Don Illuminati, but I don't think that's a great flow in my opinion for someone like Pac. I really don't. I don't. I don't. I don't know how to feel about that flow. I already don't like the production. You claim the whole, claiming that we all drug dealers with empty souls that used to take See, me to war, commit violence in the midst of an act of war. Witnesses left silent, shattered, black talent style thoughts I throw. It remains in your brain, then of course it grows. Baby, even your babies can produce and rise. Picture a life where black babies can survive past five, but we must have hope. Quoting the reverend from the pulpit. Picture a life that. Picture a life where. Black babies survive past five. That's tough, man. That's tough. He's going back to his his signature flow slowly on this track. I I don't like that production at all, though. There's not a lot of times where I hear a Pac production, especially on the posthumous albums. A lot of people do complain about the production, how it was like kind of remixed and everything. Um, on some of Pac's on all the posthumous albums of Puck, you know, and um, I see why people get upset about the production, especially considering sometimes what the original sounds like, but this one, I just like, honestly hate off the bat. I don't think that's really ever happened, where I just hate the production off the bat. But we must have hope Quoting the reverend from the pulpit Refuse to turn the other cheek We must defeat the evil culprit Place me with words of destruction And I'll explode But supply me with the will to survive And watch the Place me with words of destruction And I'll explode I like that one That's a nice line Supply me with the will to survive and watch the world grow. The same by talking about problems, I bring solution with the restitution. Ooh. Stipulated through the constitution. You violated now, I'm back to haunt your nights. Listen to the screams of the lives you sacrifice. And in case you don't know, ghetto born black seeds still grow. We coming back for everything you owe. How do you plead, Mr. Shakur? How do you plead? How do I plead? Yes, sir. How do you plead? You know how I plead. So hold up, hold up. He was there was that little skim right there on the chorus where I was like, "How do you plead, Mr. Shakur?" And then, 
Pac was, it seems like this is Pac's response. So it looks like Pac was taking the perspective of maybe like a lawyer or like um, a judge or somebody accusing him of crime. And then this seems like the second verse is going to be his response, his rebuttal to what he said in the first verse, basically. Come on! Not guilty on the grounds of insanity, it was them and me. Busting in my innocent family, say they looking for keys. I was home alone, blind to the prelude. Busting, talking about where is the quailers, what you say, fool? Where in the hell is the search warrant? No feedback is what he uttered. Before we scream, nigga, motherfucker, drop me to my knees. I proceed to bleed, suffering the. So people invaded his house without a search warrant, which is illegal. You can't. You're not supposed to. Cop detectives, cops are not supposed to search, you know, public property without a warrant, especially if it's for someone involved in the investigation. Ooh, so. All right, I see what's happening here. Back is what he uttered. Before we scream, nigga, motherfucker, drop me to my knees. I proceed to bleed. Suffering the rain of blows to my hands and knees. Will I survive as God watches? I grab his hat and bust his self-defense, my only option. God damn. damn. Now they got me going to the county jail. And my family can't pay this outrageous bail. Try to offer me a deal. They told me if I swear, move me. And my people to a mansion in Brazil, not me. So this is how it is, no friends. I'll be stressed and they just repossess my bids Told a judge it was self-defense He won't listen So I'm bumping this in federal prison Giving everything I own The judge won't listen So I'm bumping this in federal prison So Pa got Accused of murder Because he pulled He took the cop's gun Shot him Out of anger Because they were investigating his house there's actually the story on this one is really cool, but I just can't get down with the beginning flows and the production of this track, man. I that, that was just I don't like the way Pac approached the beginning of that verse, and maybe he meant to purposely take that flow pattern to you know kind of represent, hey, this is isn't Tupac rap, and this is from somebody else's perspective, you know, like I said, the judge or. Um, the uh, victim's lawyer or something like that. You know what I mean? So it's an interesting concept, but I don't think it was an executed the best way. Not, not too much to really break down. It was a storytelling track where, like I said, in the first verse, it could have been the uh, the victim's lawyer. It could have been the judge. It could have been, like, um, the cops, like, like holding Pac in custody, and, and they're trying to charge Pac for murder, and then Pac tells his side of the story where the guy he killed um, invaded his house without a search warrant, Pac out of frustration took the go the cop's gun and killed him and now he's being accused of murder um I like the interesting I like the concept of the track it's a very story I like storytelling type of tracks like that especially from Pac I think he always has a unique way of telling stories but like I said just the flow that he was going with at the beginning of this track and then just the production in general I don't think like they really way down the track in my opinion like, especially the production itself. It was just kind of, like, something I, I could not see Pac being okay with writing on. Not just something that, I don't know, it just didn't feel right for a Tupac song. You know what I mean? But it's not a bad track. It's definitely not a bad track. Don't think that I hate this track or anything. And it's just off of first reaction. It's just off of the initial reaction. So, when I listen to this album, I might change my opinions about it. Who knows, man? But uh, y'all guys let me know what you thought about that in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to see more Tupac in the future, like I said, 
We done with the until the t end of time reactions. I'm gonna finally listen to this album in my own time. Maybe make an album review soon. I gotta get. We're gonna get more serious with album reviews going into the new year, man. And we're gonna start when we start Tupac. We're gonna go all the way back to Tupacalypse now. So if you guys are excited and want to see more Pac in the future, y'all know what to do. Hit that like button if you enjoy. Subscribe to the channel for new. Comment what you want to see next. Share your thoughts and opinions about the track and my reaction to it. If you guys want to join my Discord, the Gucci Gang, links in the description along with my social medias. Go give your boy a follow. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.